in table tennis and we hope that those that are coming will be here safe and we pray that when we leave, we leave in your name and we ask through your Lord, our Savior. Amen? Amen. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome to the tournament. Now, I put on my attire so that you can know that the reason for this is because we want to bring Africans in the diaspora together so we can brag about playing table tennis. But as you can see, we're in the United States and we have a multicultural people here. So even though it's still African in the diaspora table tennis, it is the tournament for all people. So we are really thankful that you are here today to witness and hopefully one of you will win this tournament. Well, one of you will win. Hopefully it's um, my brother from another mother. All right, so why did we do this? Um, it, it was a dream of a few people to bring people together. We're doing this for one purpose only. And I would like to make a declaration to you this is not for profit. This is to help our brothers and sisters back home so that we can actually have a tournament going. And I'm proud to say that we've had two tournaments in Sierra Leone under this African diaspora. And believe me, it's one of the biggest tournaments we have ever had in Sierra Leone. So it is really an honor. We're giving scholarships. Believe it or not, it's $50 per child, but that $50 goes a long way. So you being here is actually supporting this organization. So this is the reason why we're here. And why do we want to do, what we want to do is actually continue. So I'm pleased to say that next year, we're gonna have another tournament. And I hope that you will support us. All right. So, and you've seen our vision, we just want to keep going and make this bigger and better so that we can help the children back home in Sierra Leone. Without further ado, I'm going to bring my dear friend, and before I bring him, there are a lot of people who actually, actually made this possible, all right? So I'm going to call on the, gen the, the folks to come over here and with... Uh, that made this possible so you can actually know that this is not a one person, a sole proprietorship, this is a partnership of true Africans coming together to make this a reality. All right, so if you guys can come forward, please, so that they can know oh, you okay. guys. We have the other guy there, the, the financial sector. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So these are oh. So really, these are the guys that put this together, started. He wants to take picture. Come close. So my task here is done. I'm going to pass the mic on to uh, Mr. Charles Olanka to take it away from us. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Can you guys hear me? All right. So like I said, I want to thank everyone for your participation, especially people that helped to put this event together. We've been planning this since February, so it's not a walk, but we thank God for the turnout is very good. I um, want to quickly also recognize the sponsors. We have people that donated towards this event. As a matter of fact, we had the gentleman who gave us $100. And that's why we we're able to give out to the other people that are winning. Okay, so again, we thank the sponsors as well as the people that donated towards this event. So you may be wondering, like Mr. City said, what is, uh, what is this event um, all about? All we are trying to do is come together as a community. Africans are one of the largest immigrants in this America. So that's why we're trying to come together, live a healthy life, and most importantly, just continue to come together as a unit. I want to recognize some very notable guests. In our midst, we have the Consul General, His Excellency, Mr. Kayo De Laro. Thank you so much for honoring the event. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for coming. 
Also, we do have a legend in our midst. Every time we call upon him, he always answers. Oh, and he, actually, let me go back. When we tell him we're doing an event, he will ask that what time is it, what date is it, and he'll be there. So I need to redo his raid upon him. Okay, hold on one second, please. Give me one second. I, I, I do apologize. We consider him the African legend, so you know. He is the African legend. And his name is Mr. Atuda Musa. Thank you so much for coming to our meet. Let me tell you a little bit about Mr. Atuda Musa. Mr. Atuda Musa is what we consider the African champion for 20 years. The only black and African player to beat a number one ranked player in the world. And um, he actually beat um, John O. Wagner of Sweden. In the words of Sheikh Igor, with the talents this man has for this sport, the only reason this man was not number one is because he was not born in China. <laughs> <laughs> the legend! Thank you so much for coming. Um, say anything? I think that's pretty much, again, we just wanted to make sure, again, we show our decision for all of you for coming. And uh, before I close, um, there's someone that I would consider him the trailblazer. I will consider him the, the land rover. I will consider him the pathfinder. The person who had this vision of how we can come together as a community. As a matter of fact, he was the one who brought us together three years ago. Now, let me go back a little bit. Three years ago when he started this event, he will actually fund the event on his own and he will have his wife come and cook for us. And what he was able to do is bring us together, and we've always supported him. We're glad that we were able to be part of this event. I will call on my big boss, Mr. City. Thank you so much for putting this together. And we have a small token for you. We have a small token that we want to give to you for your support and for putting this together. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Oh, congratulations, Mr. City. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Please share with us, as you know, your vision for the next event. As you know, we're already planning towards another big event. This is just the beginning. We're planning to host a bigger one next year. So please, quickly share with us your plan. Thank you so much. Well, I think I'm having a big head, but I'm as, as humble as possible. Without Charles, without NJ, without Yuko, without Wale, without all the guys here, without Babs, without even the great Atanda Musa that I love so much, this is not going to be possible. The reason why we made this tournament, because I really want to see my, my hero. That's why we made the first tournament. But next year, we're planning a big one. Again, folks, this is a non-profit. We're all professionals here. We love the game. The reason why we're doing this is because we love the game. We want to make it bigger, so we will bring the number one. Last year, the world number one was here, thanks to Wally and some folks that brought him here. Well, the, um, Aruna Quadri, who was the FIFA table tennis champion, um, FIFA player of the year, was here. We want to bring more people, we want to bring more folks. Um, so thank you all for participating, and I hope that you will support us as we go down this journey. I really appreciate it, and I'm always humble that I'm with a good team. Thank you. Very, very important. Lastly, when we reached out to Mr. Brian and Mr. Wendell about this project, they sincerely jumped on board and they've been supportive since the beginning. I want to say thank you so much, Mr. Brian and Wendell, for your support. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.
house rules here. Gatorade and other drinks are available in the lobby. The only substance in here, other than your table tennis equipment, is water. And there are also good drinking fountains at the end of this hall and outside to the left, and it's fairly cold. Please do not leave on these answer doors. It will make a humongous noise, and you'll think the world is coming to an end. There are food tables. I don't know. When are they going to be available, MJ? Thank you. Oh, thank you. So anyway, later in the day, there will be food available as you go out to the right. In the lobby, there's food there. There are vending machines down to the left. Are there any questions? Does everybody know what group they're in? I'd like the eight player to come up here, pick up the clipboard, pencil, and a ball. Everybody else, come walk to your table. Welcome to Ohio.